what is going on everybody how are we doing today it is fantastic to see y'all out here what is going on i gotta start off by saying thank you very much skycap for the eight month resub thank you thank you thank you how you doing thank you so very much for all of the support and then excalibur coming in here for the six month resub what's going on everybody we need a chair pog emote how would we make a chair pog how would a chair do a pog champ if somebody makes that for me i'll consider it <laughs> all right bishop no worries hope you enjoy the hope you enjoy class you should build a sugarcane farm on the other side of the mountain i need to i have one i just need to fix it it was a it was a auto blah 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 the super fast ones that no longer work it was one of those and it no longer works wow it's funny how that happens uh top man how's it going mikhail how you doing chunky monkey what's going on Warfare, what's going on? First stream, welcome on in. Elites, what's up? Excalibur, thank you very much again, dude. Matt, what's going on? Nightmare Taco, Super Taco. Totally different types of tacos. Uh, Waffle Shark, what's up? Sizzy Boy. Swing King, what's up? Melissa, Mike, Jaya. Uh, <laughs> Pog Cherimp. <laughs> that sounds like Pog Chimp, like monkey. <laughs> it's the Pog Chimpanzee, except it's also a chair. We'll see how that goes. How was the podcast? It was really fun. I hung out with Joel for like two hours. It was a, uh, it was sweet. It was nice. Just hung out, and talked about Minecraft stuff. I don't know if the podcast is live yet, but it was, it was cool. It should be live later today, if it's not already. Mountain Monday has kind of returned. Kind of returned. We're not gonna be building the mountains. We're gonna be working on the farmland in front of the mountain that leads up to the mountains of the all that the stuff, you know. Um, Remo, thanks so very much for the two-month resub, dude. Yay, yay, yay. I appreciate that, dude. Sprain your ankle, so having fun. Oh, Andrew, I'm sorry about that, man. That sucks. I've had a rough day, but getting better. How are you? I, it's, it's Weather's cold today, so I'm pretty good. I'm, uh, I've been working my butt off. I didn't do any work over the weekend. And so now I'm just like, today, it's like, well, I haven't even started the video for tomorrow. And then I had a recording session at 8 a.m. today. I did the podcast at 9 a.m., that got finished by like 10 45 11 and now it's 1 30 and i've spent the last two and a half hours trying to get an episode out for tomorrow <laughs> so well i gotta do more work after the today's stream too so we'll see how that's going uh patrice thanks so much for the two months happy to be back happy to have you man and amanda thank you so very much for the four months and starting off that hype train thank you very much folks four months wow thank you so very much for four months of the prime subs i appreciate that Looking healthy, glad you're kind of the whole COVID business. Yeah, so far, I live at home. I really don't go out that much, so I'm good so far. We're good. Also, I have a question for all of you. How is the stream today? How is the quality of the stream? Is it good? Because this is the first day. I decided to just give it a shot today. I should have mentioned this somewhere earlier. I started streaming in 1080p. So previously we were streaming 720p. So this is a 1080p stream. So the quality should hopefully be a lot better. If it's laggy and most people are saying it's good, I'm sorry, that's just on your end there. Looks great. Good, good, good. That's great. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Forest fire makes our sky red this evening in Finland. Oh, I, you know, when I was talking to Joel this morning, he said, uh, they could tell in some joint video or glasses. Uh, Excalibur, you yourself might need some glasses there, but, uh, and and Pura, thanks so very much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Everybody, we are so close to finishing off that hype train. Thank you all so very much. Jocelyn, how's it going? Good to see you. It's probably internet. Yeah, unfortunately you have more pixels for sure. Oh, that's good. That's good nothing wrong so far hopefully that keeps up with the minecraft gameplay i don't know if this is worse if the webcam is harder to do or the minecraft so i don't really know what's going on sugarcane farm on x life oh yeah 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 i could do well i i don't know if we're gonna need a sugarcane farm on x life i have so much sugarcane i really don't know if i need any more for the rest of x life <laughs> now the fires they're they're they dissipated all most of the smoke is gone it was funny so friday night we got like some wind came in and some rain came in and kind of pushed the fires out and so that kind of opened up everything and it cleared out and then it rained all day saturday and sunday or saturday mostly and sunday was like a great day and then we woke up this morning and it's foggy everywhere 
the fog was more dense than the uh <laughs> the fog was more dense than um the smoke was so i woke up and i was like you gotta be kidding me it's back like what the heck we just got rid of it and then no it was just all fog and so i walked outside i was like this is great so now we're uh now we're good it's okay so far and with all the fog and everything it's pretty chilly out here so i'm loving it i can wearing pants today this is the second time in like five months that i've worn pants because it's been cool enough like sweatpants and i'm very excited about that so that's pretty great but yeah so the plan for today is we are going to be uh doing some farmland stuff uh i want to work on the farmland out in front of uh white glen like in between that village and the start of the mountains i've always wanted to get some farmland stuff going on over there so that's kind of the plan uh today we're gonna see how much we can do uh, I should have enough resources to be able to make this stuff happen. Let's jump into the Minecraft. Uh, welcome to Spoilerville. I'm going to try very, very hard to not look to my right. Because that's uh, that's all spoilers. So uh, if you get some spoilers, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> that's how we do it now, everybody. If you get spoilers, you get spoilers. <laughs> that's uh, that's the type of Minecraft and we are here for. Uh, where is stone? You are full. Yeah, we're just going to do it in there. That's fine. Do I have an empty... Sh Let's just put this glass right in there. That's fine. It's all good. The reason why I'm looking over here is I need to get my coarse dirt. We need a lot of the coarse dirt, and we don't need any of that stuff. Anything else in here we need? No, it looks like it's okay. It looks like we are all good. Quality game looks great. Exclusive previews. Yeah, exactly. Exclusive preview. Oh, no, look. It's all hidden behind the thing. Oh, no. Oh, there's a bit. 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 I'm going to just leave these over here. Look at all this honeycomb I got, though. Check that out. Also, these beehives have bees inside them. We're working with bees soon. It's a castle. No, it's not a castle. Who would build a castle? Come on, castles are so lame. Who builds castles? Gross. <laughs> Quality looks good. Quality looks good. The new gate. No, the gate's been there for a while. It's uh, that. Ooh, I'm noticing a little. Ooh. I think that's a mod, though. Uh, you know what? I'm going to restart and get rid of this mod here real fast. Let's go back to the big camera for a moment. I had installed the uh, Lightmatica mod because I was doing a little time lapse stuff earlier. So I was doing one of those little 3D printing do -do 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 all the way up to the top. And um, that mod kind of tends to mess with things a little bit. So uh, if I'm not using it to actively record something, I try and re remove it. And I forgot to do that before the stream. So let me just get this thing booted back up over here. And we'll be good. So how's everybody's Monday been treating you? Good Monday so far. Are you using a texture pack? I am using a texture pack. You, uh, Skycap's got the link in there for you. Interesting style. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a cool one. It's based off of a structure that I saw in Colorado when I was down there a few weekends ago, uh, hanging with some buddies. It's a really, it was, it's a cool, it's a cool building. It's a historical site down there that I kind of built my own version of it it's i like i like it got told off a lot in school today oh no <laughs> were you being bad happy hippo come on <laughs> were you breaking rules please load please load i i don't know what's up minecraft 116.2 has made my world load so dang slowly it's been really really annoying <laughs> maybe i didn't deserve to be yelled at though <laughs> All right, so today we're going to need a lot of these guys. We're going to need some of you. And one of stone. I also need, I, I need like a, I have a seed shulker box somewhere around here. I think I know where it is. You have a lot of stuff? I do have a lot of stuff. Hey, Cheesy Nugget, thanks so much for the biddies, dude. Headache time? Oh, no, headache. Oh, bummer. 
Uh, it's, it's going good for me. Go go take some Advil, eat some food, see if that'll help you out, man. All right, there we go. Look at these. This is what we want. And the dandelions. Look at all those potatoes. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Quip was not the imposter. Dude, I'm never the imposter. How could I, 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 how could you just not trust me on that one? It's almost uh, 1.30 here, right? Now. It's just after 1.30 here. So the plan for today is this spot right back in here. Woo! Uh, what I want to do is, oh, I forgot gravel. Gravel is kind of important. Because I want to, I need to copy this road design where it's gravel, path block, course dirt, stuff. And what we're going to do is extend that road coming up here at this stuff. So we're going to merge it into there, bring the road all the way back over here. And then we're going to find out a way to get it to come all the way up around this section. I think it was meant to go like here. So the first task for today is getting a road figured out. That'll make sense, kind of bringing ourselves up here and then going right down into connecting up right down there. And then we'll divide this area up into some fields and build some of those. And I'm thinking today we're gonna to get some wheat fields and some potato fields planted and it should be good. And then that's all in prep so we can start working on this area up here again, which I'm super excited for. I feel, I'm getting 112 FPS right now and it just feels like it's chunky. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Does it feel chunky to you guys watching the stream? Does it feel weird? Is tomorrow X Life building with it? Tomorrow's gonna be a building with whip episode, and then it'll be an X Life episode, and then it'll be all the other stuff. <laughs> Chloe, thank you so very much for the 500 biddies. I really do appreciate that. Coda stream is a good pastime. <laughs> it's a good way to go. And then these should both be seeds and that stuff cool let's get some more seeds in there but thank you so very much for the biddies i really do appreciate that let's throw a chest down here as well uh we need to get some gravel and i think my gravel's all back at home headache or, headaches are lame they are i used to get headaches all the time it sucked it feels a bit chunky let me drop the render distance i i 116 2 really royally messed everything up in my world it's like not not it's not doing good I uh, can close down some Google tabs too. That's probably, I don't need 10 of those. I don't, hmm. I don't know what's been up with my Minecraft. It's been really, really laggy recently. OBS, why is, I don't have OBS open. Excuse me, I only have Streamlabs open. Why is OBS taking stuff? I don't want to end that program in case it's like weirdly being... All right, lighting service? What the heck? Why? There's this like background application on my computer sometimes that I never want. It's like the it's Windows lighting service. I never use it. And for some reason, it always opens and uses like 10% of my CPU. I'm like, why? You don't need to do anything right now. I don't want you slowing down my computer. And it should be enough. We take four stacks for this. What are you? That's all cobble. That's fine. But it's it's all good. Okay, let's head back on home. I uh, love donuts. Thanks so much for the tier one sub, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel like every update since 113 has made the performance increasingly worse for Java. It really has. Like they did 115 was a great optimization, and that made the game feel a lot better. But overall, it's still rough. <laughs> it's still uh it's still on the rough side of things. Alright, so those we don't need right now. What we need right now is let's get some of this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And then a lot of bit. Wait, did I bring two things? I did. I did. No, no, this is all I need. Okay, I'm like, why did I forget? <laughs> ah! Uh, do I have? I really hope I do. Grindstone. 
stone cutter. I always get those mixed up. Let's do this. We do that. Perfect. Let's get going, shall we? Replay mod is a go. Where's the music? Is it quiet today? Should be going. I can turn it up a little bit. Minecraft sound is not off. It's at forty eight percent, which is where I normally put it. I don't know, maybe it's maybe it's being quiet today. So, what I wanted to do was, weirdly enough, this wagon is kind of in the way, but we're going to build the road around the wagon because that's how I do things. Uh, <laughs> this one is probably going to be coming out right about here. Use our stake as a great form of knocking things off the area. And then that's going to bring ourselves out to like right here. I'm thinking four wide, four ish wide. Should be pretty cool. We're gonna just try something like this here for a little. A quick shick. See how, how it can go. How much we can do. I'm gonna do it all in the path block just cause that'll be easier to work with and we can mess it up, mix it up as we're kinda going, you know? And that should be good. Don't hear any game audio, let me see. It's picking up. It's picking up on the speakers. You hear the shovel doing that? It's my oh, man. I don't know. There's a doggo, and it's a nighttime. Why is it already nighttime? Can can you all hear the music or no? Could you hear the music at all? No. What the heck? That's so weird. Wait, what? Audio. What did I mess with? Let me try this. Let me try this. We're going to see. No. Hmm. Uh, no. Let's see here. All right. Let me know if y'all can hear this. How about now? Yes? Perfect. All right, I was messing with things and I tweaked the wrong setting, I guess. It should be on the quieter side, but you should be able to hear it now. Can you hear? Good, good, good. That was probably really awkward then when I started the stream and it was just silent for six minutes. There we go, there we go. Okay, we're good. We good, everybody. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> it, was like, it was picking up on my speakers and everything was registering, but I had put it out of a different output. I was trying to make it so if I could record streams, I could have one track being my voice and one track being uh, like game sounds and everything. And it looks like I goofed that one up and made it uh, only voice and no game sounds. So it's not really quite usable. Oh, Elite Tess, you're so kind. Okay, there's that. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of this little one right in here. We can extend this out this way, maybe. We do like a little like this. Somehow make that connect up right over here. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> so then we could do that. And then we could come back over here and get rid of these. And then that could be like a little bit more of an official pathway getting into the back of the graveyard over here. I think that could be sweet. Uh, and boop, boop. Sorry, just getting rid of these things very quickly. And we're good. There we go. Now the stream is much more in the chill mode. We don't have to worry about anything now. <laughs> Hopefully streaming the stream actually will work. <laughs> How'd you get Core Slabs? Uh, you'll see it's the Petrified Oak Slab. 
which is a block that was added into Minecraft that never was given a crafting recipe. Or it had a crafting recipe. It was the original oak slab. And then when they um, updated and added other types of slabs and basically made it so it could be broken with a pickaxe instead of... Or broken with a axe instead of a pickaxe, they changed it back to what it is. Or they changed it to what it is now. So it's a block that's been in the game forever that just does never had a crafting recipe. So I just gave it a crafting recipe through a data pack. And then I can make it, and then I get an extra block in the game that's a dirt slab, and I can do stuff like that. And it's great. Tell me a color palette for my kingdom walls. <laughs> what are the colors of the kingdom? But going for like a darker Tudor style is always a good bet. If you want to do the classic. Uh, we're going to get rid of these guys. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We do not want to go down there. All right. <laughs> Let's do this, and then we can do a little guy right in there. And now we gotta get this roadway textured out over here. How's the shape of it look though? Let's run right up here and we can take a quick little gander. That's okay, I think that's fine. I'm okay with like, more. I, I want it to be curvy. I want it to be very curvy. Uh, that should be good, and then we'll take this pathway like going all, all the way kind of up and back there and back down. Should be cool. You mean kingdom color palette? Or um, I I mean I always uh, pick like a good strong bold color, like a like a colorful color. You know, like you want a colorful color for your colorful color color thing color. I don't know, um, but. Pick like a good color, like a red or something like that when you're first starting a castle or something and then like do a, you can go up like gray palettes after that, but you want to have something that will pop in there. Definitely want to get a good pop of a color. That'll just be easier to work with long term. I feel like I'm going to change this because I've been very much veering away from doing very gray palettes uh, for roads because I like to get a little bit more of that brown color in there. So I feel like this is not going to match what we have down there where it's basically gray everywhere. <laughs> but that's fine. It's okay. That's what we do when we grow as a builder, right? We change things. Check out my own Minecraft inventory. Got 20 plus stone picks trying to make this slime farm. Ouch. 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 Let's just go through here and that's, uh, that, oh, that's right into the crypt. I was like, why is there stone brick down there? What the heck? And there's sand right there. There must've been a pond here before. Way back when of the, the before times of two and a half years ago when we originally built this place. <laughs> it's been a while since we've uh, done this actual village build. One of the old classics, if we will. This was uh, this was one of the first things I ever really did inside of this world. This was the building this village, this this little like dark oak with stones and everything over here. That was the second build project we ever did inside this world. It was a, it was a fun one. It was a good project. But it was a very time consuming one. It was cool doing all the fields and everything. And I really liked like this kind of this area. The project we did here made me kind of start the idea of like the port city and everything. So it's kind of cool coming back to it, working on it a little bit more. It's one that I just never really finished. <laughs> I always want it was like, oh, when the mountains get finished and lined out, then we'll come back and do the farmland and finish all those areas. And then I was like, I don't want to farm wheat seeds because that sucks. And now where we are farming wheat seeds. Have you done an end build? I haven't yet. I, uh, after we finish the nether hub, which I'll give you all an update on here later, I uh, the whole time I was recording the podcast with Joel this morning uh, for Spawn Chunks, which again will be out later today, was super fun. Uh, but I spent the entire time AFK inside the world just letting stuff explode in the nether. So we've got a lot more area cleared out. That was about two more hours of AFK time in the world, just letting things explode and be dealt with as we were chatting about Minecraft and fun stuff in there. Funny is part of the topic was actually dealing with evil mobs inside of the nether. So it was a really fun conversation to also watch my side monitor of me sitting on a glass box 
with seven gas flying by me. <laughs> it was way weirdly on time for when we, he was like, so what do you think about gas? And then it was just all of a sudden, here's seven of them on my side monitor. I was like, well, funny you say that. <laughs> Your world map, what levels I zoomed in are they? The maps are uh, the basic level. I, I wanted the, them to be as zoomed at, in as possible, I think. That's the right way of saying it. They're as close. They're the smallest size you can get, however you would word to say things. I don't know. Uh, it's not my podcast. It's called the Spawn Chunks, which is a uh, Pixel Riffs and Joel Duggan do it. They're really cool dudes, good friends of mine. Uh, and they were doing that. Or they do that, and then um, they needed a stand-in guest today because Pixlerifs couldn't make it. He was uh, dealing with some family stuff, and so then they were like, do you want to come and be on the show? And I was like, heck yeah, dude. And so then I, I did, and then that leads us to here. That's my story. How do you like it? <laughs> uh... Have you thought about making the cobblestone blend in with path blocks too? Uh, like these parts? I don't know where I'd make, I don't know if I wanna have the cobblestone overlay onto path blocks really. I could look into it. I honestly wish there was a way to make path block like overlay onto that without looking stupid. Cause then it would be like that little pixel would still be there, but then path block would be over the top of it. Uh, third or fourth appearance on Spawn Chunks so far. I've, I've been on there a few times with them. They got a good show. It's a good, it's a good time. Would recommend, it's a good, I, I try and listen to it when I can, uh, especially when there's new stuff coming out, like whenever they release like a new Minecraft update news or anything like that, Joel and uh, Pixar is doing an awesome job dissecting it and coming up with some cool theories. Uh, POV, what do you mean? If you're talking about FOV, I play on normal. I play on just the regular old normal FOV. Point of view is a first person view in here. So, so you know, if you want some first person Minecraft gameplay, you're getting that right now. We could, if you all want to, we'll play third person. Should we build the road like this? Could you imagine if this was the normal way to play Minecraft? Like you're just like, nah, 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 and you're trying to build things like this? That would be awful. It'd be so difficult. Do you usually do podcasts, but don't you? Yeah, I, I'm not a big podcast fan, to be honest. Uh, podcasts are, I, I like a little bit of a video or something to it. I would rather like have a video in the background than listen to a podcast. But this one I really enjoy. Also, because it's very Minecrafty focused, so it's easy for me to kind of connect with what's going on, I guess. Oh, we broke an extra thing. I forgot I had glowstone under. I haven't done that in so long. Actually, like, light up areas with glowstone. <laughs> I say that like it's such a foreign topic. Like, who would light up an area with glowstone? As, like, that is probably one of the most normal things to do is put uh, <laughs> glowstone underneath a um, carpet and hide it in your road to make it mob proof. And I'm just like, who the heck would do that? Why would you ever need to do anything like that? And then all my villagers are eaten by zombies. Sounds about right. Uh, I think I have a bed right over here. Hi, am I interrupting? That's my bed. You get out of here, good sir. I'm sleeping in an armor stand. You watch any Rogan? I don't know. Are you the market tender today? Can I buy a sunflower? No? Hello, parrot. Uh, so that, and then we gotta come out over here. We do a little, little bit like a boop, and... Uh, How's this path looking? What do we think? What are we thinking? I think we got too many path blocks inside of it. I feel like less path block might be the way to go here. Just more towards the center. We do a little bit less on the path block front. Make those more an outlier instead of being the main feature. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, like up here we need to, like this has gotta go. We can turn those into path block. The path block I like using as like a trim. Path block needs to be like, 
you're not quite on the path anymore, but you're not quite off the path, you know? Like, whenever you're traveling around in like video games or whatever it might be, there's always that little bit of a line along the edge of the path where like if the cart needed to pull off to the side just to squeeze by so two people could pass each other, that's what I use path blocks as. Instead of being the path, they're kind of just barely along the edge here. So we can do something like this. Right like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, something like that. There we go. That's getting better. Yeah, the shoulder. There we go. Thanks, Jam. <laughs> I I don't word good, everybody. I think I think by this point in time, you all should know that Fwip does not word good. This channel, you do not come to to hear good words in proper order. That's not that's not that's not a me thing to do. <laughs> uh. Let's do that, we can do that, we can do that. And then boop boop. That'd be good. Oops. Keep missing the stream, so we made it in time. <laughs> we like your explanations. <laughs> no word good. Somehow good word happened. I don't I don't know, man. <laughs> Uh, most of the time when I'm like stumbling over things to say on a time lapse is legitimately, I almost fell down there. Uh, but legitimately I'm just like, I don't know how to say this and this is my third attempt so I give up. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's gonna be much better. That's much, much better for a roadway. Cool. That's dirt. I want steak. I don't want to eat dirt. I want me some steak. That's why I'm here, so I feel relatable. <laughs> bear, bear. Have you talked to Joel? He doubled his grass. Uh, no, I have not talked to him yet. He, has, I have not been contacted by him to s saying that he has doubled his grass. I will say we can come up here and kind of work this edge out a little bit better. And then we can do that, and that'll be fine. And then I'm thinking we gotta bring, because the path is supposed to be coming right over here. So my plan is to have like a little bit of like a bridge throughout this area. Like a bit of a bridge right across here. And that'll lead like off of this pathway. We'll have a bridge coming up. It'll be great. Fan flippantastic, if you might say. I don't know what, who would say that, but some might say that. You never know. Uh, and then we could do that, smooth that section out. And then it would turn the corner right here. Path block Mondays. <laughs> We're on path block Mondays here, everybody. We're gonna break it. <laughs> the goal is to break the netherite shovel by making paths. Saying the plural of path is kind of hard though. Paths, I don't know. Pixarifs the second, I have no idea what you're asking. You gotta, you gotta try phrasing your question in another way. I've read it, tried responding to it, and it's not working. So uh, you got, you gotta find a new way to ask it, dude. <laughs> iPad died already. Warhawk, you, we stream at the same time every week. Every week, it's the same time. And you always, always dying, man. Always dying. It's fine, though. It's fine. We're gonna probably add like a little house or two, like a tiny, like a house or two right up here along the pond. I think could be kind of cool. Uh, then that that would be cool. That would all be good. And then we need to bring this all the way like over to here, maybe? I don't know. Like right there. Something like that. I don't know. Diamond designs? What about diamond designs? Hmm. 
Maybe like small graveyard for royal family. We already have a graveyard right over there. I'm gonna be working on a graveyard in the city for uh, a future build. The, like a little small, more like a royal crypts area. I'm thinking like Uther the Lightbringer crypt of sorts, if anybody's a WoW fan. Gotta get one of those, a little like mausoleum type thing. Should be pretty sweet. Have you played Among Us yet? Uh, yeah, I have like, I've streamed it like four or five times. <laughs> I, I'm closing in on 20 hours played on Among Us. If not already hit 20 hours played on Among Us, I play it a little bit, just a little bit. When are the streams? Uh, usually the Among Us streams have been like a Tuesday or like Friday. We'll split up the stream and do half Among Us, half Minecraft. Uh, it's kind of been, kind of been it. Whenever, whenever folks are wanting to play, I'll jump in usually. But I'm super behind on schedule right now because I didn't do anything over the weekend for work stuff. Just goes hanging with family. And now I'm just like, I need to focus and getting things done. And I'm just kind of panicking. It's fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Uh, then we can come down. Yeah, we got to get this all the way in here. I don't want to build a big cathedral. I feel like I already have enough things that grace the skyline with their, their dominant presence. So I don't want to build a cathedral because I feel like one that's overdone in Minecraft. <laughs> to be honest, uh, everybody builds cathedrals as like a staple to a medieval city. You apparently need a cathedral in Minecraft, which I don't really, I don't really like. I like to break away from the norms as I build my 17th castle inside a medieval city, but it's fine. but it should be good. What inspired you to become a YouTuber? Uh, I knew I wanted to get into the gaming industry somehow. I didn't know how, and I knew I loved video games. And honestly, I had talked with a family friend who works in the gaming industry. He works for Xbox, or he used to, and he kind of told me, he was just like, you gotta find some way to get a portfolio out there. He's like, it doesn't matter what you do. You have to find some way to show that you can walk the walk. <laughs> uh, so for me, I always wanted to be a game designer, a level designer, and I didn't know how to do any like 3D art or anything like that, but I knew how to build a Minecraft. <laughs> so I kind of start, like that kind of sparked the idea for me. I was like, what if I just like create my design portfolio of I'm an artist and I can actually create things inside of Minecraft. And so that led to a lot of it. And then um, uh, one of my friends, Dukon Red One, he kind of was the one who helped me get started on the YouTube side and was like, you should actually do this. Like you should actually try and do this. It's like, you're an entertaining person. Try and actually like, grow a channel instead of using it as a design portfolio. So kind of due to him is why I really started focusing on it. And then uh, now we're here. What about an Abbey? We could do a little Abbey or something like that. Uh, Yeah, F5 switches you. I think you should let Joel on this map and let him build his own city randomly and link it to yours. <laughs> for a, for a, like a content filled episode, one episode for him to build a city, I would like that challenge. I've actually thought about that before. Quite a few times, I have honestly thought about like, what if I did episodes where I invited somebody to come build with me? Like invited like Gem, Gemini Tay or uh, Joel or somebody just to come and like, be like, all right, for this one episode, like I'm working on this project and I brought in this expert to help me build. I always thought that would be a really, really fun idea. But then I'm also just like, but it's my world. I don't want to share with anybody. <laughs> so I've had a hard time choosing that if I want to do it or not. Cause if I do that, then it's like forever. Like this world isn't mine. It's not solely mine. Somebody helped me create it. As much as I can be like, here's everything I made. And then there's Joel's thing over here. It would, it's very much like, mm, I don't know. I kind of like the, I kind of like the, the aspect of I've done literally everything in here. So I don't know. Yeah. You can never, I could never again say that like, this was the whole thing that I did. <laughs> yeah. No, I like bringing people on for the world tour. Cause they're like checking it out and it's not like the official world. It's like a copy of the world. And then it's a cool time to give a download and everything. But I don't know about like actually being like, all right, come build something on here with me. I feel like I don't, I don't, I don't really think I would do that. As, as many times I've been like, this should be cool. I've had equal times be like, 
this is my world. Get out of here. <laughs> Don't you touch my stuff. <laughs> it's all mine. <laughs> Less than three, less than three. Uh, Spaz, thank you for the 10 months. Uh, less than three right back to you. <laughs> thank you so very much, dude. I really do appreciate the support. 10 months. 10 months of Twitch Prime. You've come back every single month for 10 months. 10 months th 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 th, uh, to click that button. So <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is your port city approximate coast length from mansion to castle? I think it's almost like 300 blocks, to be honest. If it's 300 or more, probably. Probably more, now that I'm thinking about it. But it's it's a big one. It's a big city. <laughs> we have uh, put in the hours building that so far, and it's uh, not even close to being done yet, unfortunately. Fortunately, it means I always have build projects. <laughs> If I'm ever like, huh, I don't know what to do. Y'all can just yell at me, but like, build something in the city. <laughs> and then I'll be like, but I don't want to. And then y'all be like, well, then you're never going to finish the project, are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello, darkness. We don't want to go down there. I live in uh, Washington. Uh, f fictional character, go check out the literally the last video I posted. Uh, it's about it's titled "How to Can How to Keep Having Fun in Minecraft," and most of it's like how to keep building, how to keep playing, how to keep doing that stuff. So go go check that out if you're looking for ways to stay inspired and keep playing this game that we all love so much. Go uh, go check that video out. I do want to make a royal palace. I really want to make a royal palace in the city. I think that would be awesome, Simi. That would be really, really cool. Um, that's kind of been one of my long goals is I've very much been inspired by like the Game of Thrones of like, they have their, uh, like the Red Keep and everything. I want to make like a, my own version of the Red Keep type thing. I think that'd be really sweet. I get so confused when foot place a dirt slab and I saw that name. <laughs> It's, I just use the data pack to give me the recipe. I like the block too much. Or I, I, I wanted a dirt slab in Minecraft for so long that I, and then I found a way to do it myself and it's still vanilla. Like I didn't, there's no mods installed. I can update this straight away and we are still in vanilla and everything like that. And it, it's, it's just, I needed it. <laughs> it's texture pack, texture pack love. Uh, what was the purple? Castle, that's what the purple castle is called. What? Uh, castle Bleak Rock is the um, Ar Arcanium. Yeah, that's right. I for I for I always call it the Wizard Castle. <laughs> Arcanium is right. Bad that I have two bathrooms on my house. One with the toilet paper and one with the soap. That's probably a little weird. But you know. That's that's you can you can do whatever you want. It's your it's your house. Okay, we're gonna go like to right here and just fill all this stuff in. That'll be fine. We'll figure we'll do the bridge later. We're not gonna do the bridge yet. I actually wanna build some fields today. I don't wanna just be building paths the entire time. I uh <laughs> As much as I love a good old path making stream, I was really wanting to get some fields built today, which I feel like is more about what you all were wanting to see here. So that's where we're gonna be going. Uh, let's get our inventory here situated. We do this, we can do that. We can do a little bit of this. We can do a little bit of that. We can do a little bit of this. What's that old song? I don't know. Show us the nether. We can jump into there soon. Let me get this pathway done and then we can take a break and check out the nether. How's that sound? How's that sound? The nether is, uh, lots of progress has been made since the last time we checked it out. It's pretty insane. Anima, no worries, dude. Happy to have you. Yeah, mumbo number five. That's 
Exactly, eggs. You knew exactly where I was going with that one. A little bit of this. <laughs> great song, great song. I've been listening to a lot of like oldies of like 70s and 80s music recently and like early 90s stuff. It's been, it's been good. It's been great. I always go through these like times where I'm just like, I want to listen to like old, more like classic rock and all those just random ones and then i just it's always so good they're always so good now i get hooked on it for like a month and then after that i just am like yeah i've listened to all the songs i wanted to listen to like 30 times over let's go find something more recent <laughs> let's zeppelin of course of course of course of course Money, money, money. The the true classic. The true classic of 2020. <laughs> what was I doing down here? I don't know, man. The heck was I thinking? I don't know. That'll work, though. Sure, why not? That's fine, right? Any song suggestions? Getting bored of the ones I know. Um, 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 um. If you're on Spotify, there's a play. That I've been loving. If you ever, if I ever need like good music to go listen to and just chill, I just pull up the Guardians of the Galaxy playlist. Guardians of the Galaxy Awesome Mix Volume Two is great. It's like one of my, I think that's my favorite movie soundtrack I've ever listened to. I could listen to that all day long. <laughs> it's so good. Every single time I'm just like, yep, there's still songs on here that I just absolutely love. <laughs> Quarantine section of the city for all the sick people? Are we gonna bring a plague into our own Minecraft city? I feel like that's just a weird thing to do with world events going on right now. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Blue Sky is great. Oh my gosh. You have it on vinyl? Oh, I'm jealous. That I'm sure that sounds amazing. Yeah, that's fine. Why not? Why not? Fave Beatles song? I, I'm so terrible with song names. I could, I wouldn't be able to tell you any song names ever. If somebody said it, I could be like, oh yeah, that's a good song. I just, I'm so bad with names of anything. I am so, so bad about it. <laughs> Relatives repeated the entire Guardians of the Galaxy play you two for, on their 14 hour trip. <laughs> Hey, you know what? It's a good one to like re-listen to. I I sometimes I'll just like turn it on for like a day. I'll just have it like on repeat for the day, and I'm always just like still good. Excuse me, sheep. Excuse you. Well, this is looking pretty good. Uh, did you just eat my grass? That's my grass, sir. I placed that there specifically to be grass. Just got out of class. Well, welcome on in. Or congrats if you already left class and then we're watching the stream. I don't know your life. You can do what you want to do. Make sure you study. That's all I'm saying. You're in class and you're hanging out in here. Make sure you're still passing your classes, okay? That's the important part. Uh, the dirt slabs and the resource pack, you also need a data pack that allows you to craft them because they're the they're a block that exists in Minecraft that doesn't have a texture or that doesn't have a crafting recipe. So you need a data pack on how to do it. My second channel has a video on it with a data pack you can download if you would like. Um, but that's the only way. It's uh, You need a data pack to be able to craft petrified oak slabs is what the block is called. So those guys right there. So I had to make a data pack to make it craftable. Ooh. Can't hop on the stream till after. Didn't hop on the screen stream till after class. All right, cat. All right, cat. Sure. Okay. 
Uh, we're almost done with this. Then we can jump into the nether. We can go say hello to our ghasty friends. Our ghastly friends. Probably a better, better way. Alright, there's that. And let's go up here and sleep. Why I put the bed on top of the hill? I don't know. Actively avoiding my responsibilities with Quip today? Hey, as long as you get them done before the responsibilities are overdue, then it's fine. Do you pay for the rights to show Minecraft in your videos? You do not need to know. No. For Minecraft, if you are just using the game, uh, most video game creators do not uh, enforce trademark on YouTube. Uh, if you see other people uploading it, most likely it's that you're fine. Uh, so no. In order, as long as you're doing your own playthrough of it, you're not like re-uploading the Minecraft like trailers that they make and things like that you're gonna be fine if you're uploading your own minecraft gameplay of you playing the game yourself doing all your own stuff you will be fine it's when you start to take things from other people and whatnot then it's not okay but otherwise it falls under fair use pretty much Uh, Impala, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Thanks. Tell them thanks for asking. Uh, let's keep doing some stuff back in here. There we go. I'm going insane from how much Minecraft I've been playing, and I've been like speed playing Minecraft today. But other than that, I'm doing great. For some reason, today has been the day of, uh, I am behind on everything, so let's do everything very, very quickly. <laughs> there we go. That's done. Woo! I honestly might fill this in with a little pond right here. I feel like that could be kind of cool. We got a little pond down there. We can fix it up later, make it look all nice and pretty. Need a diamond sword, 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 sword. Need a diamond sword. I don't know where that's from, but okay. Do you make a dessert theme? building video uh we're gonna build cakes in minecraft everybody just giant minecraft cakes i need two of you and then we can come on down here so the end goal making it look a little bit more like this one over here but we're not gonna do that today what are you doing uh building some pathways right now through our farming area this big old thing is brand new and then after that, we're going to be coming back here and start building some fields along this area. It should be pretty sweet. Uh, Swarkles, thanks so much for the tier one sub, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome on in. All right, uh, how much coarse dirt do I have on me? We got a stack and a half. I think I can mix this up here enough. Oopsies. I regret all of these decisions. This is, you can tell how old this video, this build is right here, folks, because there is one layer of dirt. Can you believe that? This is an old foot build here. There is one layer of dirt. Come on now. This is why we double dirt, everybody. This is why we double dirt. We don't have to deal with the little holes like this. Uh, and then we can go boop, boop. And then... That'd be okay. Something like that. I don't know. That's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. We can make it look like we got a little bit of like a rock right in here. I don't know. Boop, 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 and boop. It's a rock. You can tell it's a rock because the way it is. All right, sweet. That's a pathway in here. We can go ahead and pause that real fast. Uh, shall we jump into the nether? Are you ready to see the nether hub? Uh, 
what did I miss? We've been we built a path today. So far we've built a path. We already been live for an hour. Are you kidding me? Wow, it does not feel like it's been that long. How long have you been working on this world? About three and a half years. I'm ready to see the nether hub. Well, this is gonna spawn a portal right here. No, I did not think about that. No, or it's gonna That's insane. If you spawn a portal in the nether, wait, what? This portal was not here before. This was not here. If you spawn one in the nether and there's nowhere for it to spawn, it'll spawn on top of, with two extra obsidian to the side. Look at that, bonus obsidian. We got four extra obsidian. Look at that right there and right there. I never knew that. The more you know, exactly. I only have 10 rockets and I don't have my, um, I don't, and my wings are almost broken. Uh, we gotta be careful with this. This is how much of the nether hub is now exploded, everybody. Previously, the last update we had was before this little glass box I got up here. So it was previously like about to here. Yeah, there's some more ancient debris. So it was back all the way to here pretty much is the last time that it's been shown on stream. I've been doing a little bit of off stream grinding on it just afk time because it needs to disappear but you can see even the the nether fortress is starting to get blown up as well we're really getting close to finishing this thing it's insane now, if anybody remembers what it was before all of this uh that'll give you an idea of how much well obviously you can see how much we've done <laughs> But there's a lot of ancient debris that we need to start picking up here soon. So we'll have to come back in eventually and get all those. I've been leaving them. I've been leaving them so we can get them all on stream one day. But it's almost at the point where I got to remove the rest of these portals. Low key but high key pretty incredible. <laughs> just the fact that it's like even back there that stuff's just not loading. It's insane. It's It's been a fun project. It's been really cool. Just being able to actually do something like this. I've always seen people do it. Like the Psycraft guys. Who just will explode everything. Around everything that they do. And I'm always like that's insane. I could never. And now that all it takes is that. With that. And it's you can do it. <laughs> it really makes me think that like. If we want to do like a witch farm or something in the overworld. Not that I ever would use those resources. But that it's like it's possible it's pretty possible how are you dealing with all that lava uh we're gonna cover it <laughs> i don't know how we're gonna deal what i'm more scared about is dealing with these open parts these little things right in here those are gonna be the pain painful parts because we got to somehow make sure they're mob proof so they don't spawn mobs so i think we might just need to cover that in lava like cover all these areas in lava or just get rid of them so that there is just lava below it all um, and then after that's all clear, then we're going to build over the top of it and get it so it's just, uh, uh, exclamation point discord will get you a link to join, uh, toner. And then we're going to build on top of it with a layer of blackstone with like slabs and stuff to mob proof the entire base of it. Uh, and also we need to explode about a hundred blocks that way <laughs> in this general area. It's going to be a lot. Um, yeah, that's uh that's where we're at with the Nether Hub right now. It's a little insane. <laughs> Could Nether do that? I know, me me Nether. All right, let's get out of here before I uh, break my life trying to die. I love this. This is so cool that it spawns these. That's really really cool looking. I never would have guessed that. Are you gonna dupe sand with another flying machine? No, I'm not gonna fill in the lava. I wanna I wanna use the lava as a way to mob proof the bottom. Because no mobs will spawn in the lava outside of striders, and they need a few blocks above it. So if we cover right above the lava, then we should be okay. And I don't I think striders are a passive mob, right? I think they take the passive mob cap. uh shout out thank you so very much for the tier one sub dude i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you and uh bathonje thanks so much for the nine month prime sub dude i think i missed that one earlier thank you very much for that always end up falling asleep no you're we're just doing a little update on there most of that's been off stream so you're all good <laughs> such emptiness well now we gotta unemptify this area out here so i'm thinking what we can do is let's put everything away up here 
And then this recording now that we're outside. And I want to get all of these away. And then we can put all these guys back in here. And we're going to want a lot of this. We're going to want a lot of cobblestone. Because what we're going to do is lay out the shapes of the fields. Uh, my goal is to get the fields laid out like this whole section up here is what I kind of want to start with. So I'm thinking we can divide it into two to three different fields. Should be good. Uh, and I do walls like this around the fields because I think it looks really sweet. Uh, with lots of flowers and things around them and everything there. So we'll see how that goes. Unempty We're going to empty it and then unemptyify it. How's that sound? So I'm thinking this one we can have like the entrance maybe right here. Kind of have it coming in off of the side. One, two, and then we can do this. Three, four, five. Uh, then we can bring ourselves all the way back up to here and then start bringing this along these sections and give ourselves a little bit of a barrier in between the mountains and everything. That's going to be a big wheat field. Now that I'm looking at it, that's going to be a big field. <laughs> Yeah, very poggers. <laughs> very poggers on the decorative fields. We're going with the very poggo decorative fields. Uh, I need to get some more rockets on me here too, though. Uh, very poggers. Egg, no poggers. Our box of shiny rockets. I want to make sure this isn't too insane. So we got that right there. No, yeah, that's about the size of these other ones. That's okay. That's a that's a good size field. Good size field. If you want to see a world tour, there is one up on my YouTube channel. You can go check that out. Hey Cindy, how you doing? Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh then we go and do three, one, two, three. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's go with this. So we can go like that. And we can go like this. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of this. There we go. Cool. That's one field. We'll do that for one. I think that'll be okay. And we can make this one like wheat. Uh, wheat, I think will be good there. There's a world download available for people who support me on Patreon or who are Twitch subs. Uh, if you want to get it, you can be a Twitch sub and then join the Discord. And there is a world download posted in there for you. Uh, but there's no public world download. One, two, three, one, two, two, two. That includes people who are given gift subs and everything like that as well. So hanging out in the stream gives you the possibility of being randomly chosen for a gift sub, and then you can get the world download if you'd like to as well. But I don't do it for free anymore. No one know what pog or poggers means? It's just pog. It's just, a, it's just pog. The best, the best Hawaiian themed juice <laughs> did anybody ever get that the the pog juice it had like the the card in with like the little like orange dude on it best best juice ever terrible for you but so delicious <laughs> uh, let's bring ourselves right back down here This is a weird shaped one. I kind of like making them look like <laughs> they might always thought as like, oh, it just looks like a like a cell or something like that. It just looks like a micro, like a very blown up cell shape. There's a random blob, a little random blobs. <laughs> and we can do a third one right up in here and it should be good. Uh, but you do think imposters among us should be able to speak to each other on among us? I mean, it would be cool if they could. That'd be a great way to organize. You can get some crazy plays going. But there's, uh, 
no easy way to do it, unfortunately, because you'd have to somehow move them into another call automatically and then peep then move them back into the main call automatically as well and i feel like it would just result in so many people being seen or as like oh there was actually them <laughs> if there's an easy way to do it like in discord or something like that or if there's like an in-game audio that would automatically move people from rooms that would be that'd be really cool that'd be really cool if there's a good in-game audio system that would automatically move the imposters to a room together and then automatically move them back. But like, if you're a crewmate, you just never got told that you're being moved or not moved. Make it in the shape of a little poop. Yep, we're gonna make it look like a poop. Uh, we're building some farmland fields today. I don't know what other type of fields you'd wanna make. Big old grassy field, I guess, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we're building farmland today, and I did not make an entrance to this one. So let's go ahead and do the entrance right here. Woo! Entrance! Yay! Entrance! Wee! Yay! Boop! Alright, so there's three fields. We got these uh, big ones. Ooh, a sunflower field could be pretty good. The problem with the sunflowers is they grow facing the mountains, so I feel like building one right here would just look into the mountains and it wouldn't make too much sense. Maybe on top of this hill, though. Like, on top of this hill, like, right here. No, that's because we have the vineyard right here, which would be good for a vineyard on a steep hill as well. But maybe we could do sunflowers there, or even, like, just even this edge. And that can be, like, some natural thing because it's too steep. I don't know. We'll see. How do you connect your Twitch to Discord? That sounds like a great thing to Google, James. If you Google that, I guarantee the first link you'll find is a great way to do that. It's Farmland Friday. <laughs> it's Mountain-ish Monday. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, right, we gotta get the shapes of these. Okay. I need to make a bunch of stairs and slabs. We'll texture them later. I just wanna get the fields planted today. I think that, for me, is gonna be a better way we can do this. Let's get three stacks of stairs. Take all these slabs. And we can do this. And now we gotta make the shape of these look so much cooler. I don't really care about making a mob proof or anything like that. These fields are just decorative. If some of it dies over time due to animal trample, uh, then it just looks more authentic or something. Mostly the or something side of things. Uh, but I just like making these look like there's a lot of rocks that have just been piled up all over the place and they're just adding these massive heaps of stone walls that people are using to make it look really kind of barriers just little barriers that they have between the fields that's that's the goal let's go that way sure because otherwise they get way too bulky if you try and make it so mobs can't jump over it around the entire thing it's just gonna be way too bulky any theories on what 117 will be I don't know. I'm really hoping it's just a mass biome update. They've talked about all these biome updates that they've been wanting to do and had the community vote on them two years in a row now, and we still haven't seen any of that. I guess we've, we got the foxes. We got the foxes and the taiga being updated and added in sweet berries, but like none of the others have ever been talked about, and I would be so sad if it just means that we're not going to get them ever. So I would love to just if we if 117 was literally just here's all the features that we've been voting on in minecon we decided to add them all except uh don't add the scary mobs like the phantom nobody wants any more of those things in the game thank you very much uh but i would love absolutely love to have all those things added in if i got all of my biome updates and those new types of wood blocks and everything to work with i would be a very very happy man Uh, such a huge fan. You're amazing and amazing at building. Thanks, honey. I appreciate that. There we go. We made one. Look, it's a field. I feel like this needs to come down. Look, it's a field. Notice it is barren. I will not finish that meme sentence. 
yeah, an inventory update would be great. Biome update would be great. Uh, an end update would be awesome. I don't care too much about a cave update. It does not stand out to me as something that we need. I know a lot of people are really interested in seeing a cave update. But I don't think Minecraft needs it. So unless it's like a, it's if they do like a Crystal Caverns cave update, that'd be cool. Uh, but I would love to see it like a fall biome update, which I feel like they won't do. But I was talking about it on the podcast this morning with Joel. Is that like inside of Minecraft, there's the only biomes that like we have biomes that represent like spring and summer and winter, but we don't have any Yay, that three months. represent. Um, Claire, thank you so very much for the three months. I really appreciate that. Yay, indeed. Glad you enjoy the streams. Uh, but we don't have any biomes that represent the fall. Like, that would be really cool to have, like, a fall biome added in. Even if it's just, like, an extra feature on top, that would be sweet. I know that's not enough for a full update, but it would be nice. So, I don't know. I'm super excited for Minecon. I'm very excited for Minecon. I'm going to be living on that show when it's when it's out i'm gonna be like one of the first people watching i'm gonna be there watching the whole thing i kind of want to see if i can stream it or something i could just stream like a live reaction to it the podcast is the spawn chunks uh pixel riffs and joel duggan do it uh i joined them today for an episode because pixel riffs was out of town so i was uh stand in pixel riffs on today's episodes they'll be out later you y'all should check them out it's a really cool podcast it's all minecraft it's literally a minecraft only podcast anything minecraft that they're, they're talking about it's, it's really cool they're good guys but if that thing isn't live yet he hasn't pinged me saying that they released it but it it'll be out later today would re would recommend if you're looking for more podcast stuff Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just placing random blocks. Random blocks it is. I just want to finish this before we go sleep. <laughs> I know it's, I know it's quite a deadly option, but I think we can make it work. There we go. It's finished. What do you think about a farming update? New crops would be awesome. New crops and new types of food would be really cool. Uh, taking a break from the Asian project right now. I just got really inspired to come back and work in this area. So no no hate or harm or ill will towards the Asian area project that we're doing. I just really wanted to come back over here and work on this stuff. So this is going to be a wheat field, I'm thinking. This will be probably like a potato field. We'll do big stripes of potatoes, and then we'll do another wheat field over there. Just something like that, I think, could be a good way to help us get more situated in the area. And we got to naturalize these sections. This, maybe we do like a small little pumpkin patch? A Halloween pumpkin patch? I don't know. What do y'all think? What should we include right here? We got something. I don't want to include a structure. Maybe we do a custom tree and do that. Or we do like a, like a pumpkin patch could work, and then... anima it's fine uh, a pond we add i added a pond right over behind that one so this is kind of raised up so i feel like a pond would be weird pumpkin or melon patch yeah we could do that wait for the spoopy season wait for the spoopy season and then pumpkin patch i mean we probably won't do it today i want to start working on these farms more on streams though there's so many projects in this world that are just I've been like, yeah, I'll do that. And now I'm finally just saying, you know, like, you know what? Dang it. We are. If I need a project to do on stream that just needs to mix things up. Because I was like, we've done nether stuff on streams for the last like four weeks. And we've only been streaming this. It's time to mix things up a bit. So let's not go into the nether today. And let's farm. Because that's another thing that we do a lot of here. Uh, pumpkin patch? Patch? No, it's called the pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. Uh, trees with informal pumpkin patch underneath it. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Something that they they it looks like they literally just set it up for Halloween. 
Like it's just seasonal. It's not meant to be here. Uh, cause we could do that and just do like a little fence around it or something that could work out. Have a good one, Warfare. I want Halloween to come quicker. I haven't seen my best friend in four months. That's the only time of the year I get to see her. Oh, that'd be cool. I'm not much of a Halloween aficionado myself, but I'll, I'm interested to see how it happens this year. I'm very interested to see what happens with Halloween this year. <laughs> Just with everything going on in the world. It'll be weird to see how Halloween functions. But it'll be okay. Uh, this is not modded Minecraft, no. This is my vanilla world, Minecraft 1.16 survival. Uh, it's 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 cool. It's doing good stuffs. Uh, let's do that. Cool, we did it. Oh, that's that's floating. <laughs> There's the three fields lined out. I eventually do want to come back here and detail them some more so they look a little bit better. More like that, where we add in like stone, andesite, and mossy cobblestone. And it looks awesome. From what I heard, Riot Games is interesting in buying Minecraft from Microsoft. If Microsoft sells Minecraft, I would be amazed. Why would you sell the number one game in the world? <laughs> I don't I doubt that'll happen. Like you have you literally own the rights to the number one video game in the entire world and it's making you money. I don't know why you would sell it. <laughs> yeah, they they bought Hytale. They did I don't think they uh, are buying Minecraft. How long have I been streaming? Streaming hour and a half about. All right, shall we get to the seeds? Shall we get to seeding this place? Is it time? Do we do the seed placements? We must make stuff happen. Uh, let's get a bunch of seeds. The way that I do this is we're just gonna work from the top going all the way down and just it'll be fine. I don't really care about tilling the land or anything like that. These will grow in slowly as we go, so we just kinda run along here and do this. Yeah, Microsoft just bought Bethesda, so they now own the rights to uh, all the Elder Scrolls stuff, which is interesting. Or they bought Zenimax, who owns Bethesda. So I'm interested to see how that goes. I'm hoping that means Elder Scrolls 6 is coming sooner rather than later. Minecraft is about having fun and makes money for some purchases. of this. Yeah, I mean, Minecraft, I think, is still the top selling game as far as, like, overall copies per year, if I remember correctly. They, they, a lot of copies of Minecraft are sold every day. It's insane. Did you make an Indian Arabic area? I have kind of an Arabic-inspired area. Like, a, a des my desert area is very much, like, Egyptian, Middle Eastern-inspired. Uh, but I've wanted to do, like, an Indian area. I thought that'd be really fun. Or like a Southeast Asian. I feel like they have similar architecture styles. Both would be very cool to try. I mean, I'm pretty sure by now Microsoft's probably made money off of Minecraft for how how well it's done since, because they bought it before it was number one game and now it's number one game and constantly growing. Middle Eastern area, yeah. We, I, I kind of have that. I feel like the desert area that I have very much fits that. It's probably more Egyptian than Middle Eastern, but I feel like North African and Middle Eastern is very, very similar. At least base shapes. Make a king's castle and a lord's castle. I feel like most castles we have are, would qualify as a lord's castle, but I do want to make like a palace soon. So that would qualify as the king's castle.
Oh, missed that one. I thought this would take a lot more seeds than it is. <laughs> I thought this would take a lot more seeds than so far it's taken. More Middle Eastern than you're probably intending. Yeah, I think as it's evolved, it's grown to be a lot more Middle Eastern. I think I tried with like the nature element to it to bring in that like Nile River atmosphere, but it's definitely it's more Middle Eastern than anything. Just making a small village on a bunch of different islands. That, that, yes. <laughs> I was supposed to and then I got distracted and then I just never wanted to do it. I have too many projects. I want to make custom islands and build stuff on top of those islands. Um, but it's uh, it's going to have to wait until the mountains are much more progressed. Otherwise, I will literally never finish the mountains. And if I pick up a new terraforming project before I finish the mountains, neither of them are ever going to get finished. So we got to mountainify first. After we mountainify, then we can talk about islandifying the world. All older Middle Eastern stuff was river based, so yeah, yeah, I mean they had to get food somehow and living in a mostly dry region. Rivers are the way to go. Custom islands would take so much work. Ah, it's really not that bad if you think about it. The sand placing is just like layer of dirt and then piece layer of sand over the top of it. So like in reality, it's just like the same as here, and you don't have to worry about falling to your death. <laughs> Just harvesting all the sand would be a pain in the butt. Can we see the map? Uh, it's not up to date quite yet. Am I late? No, you're all good, man. Just been going for about an hour. I will say today's stream is definitely gonna have to be shorter than not. Otherwise, there will be no video tomorrow. So I figure I stream for about two and a half hours today. So another hour on top of this. And then after that, we will, uh, and then I'll have to end the stream so I can actually go and uh, try and finish up tomorrow's episode. Because right now it's, uh, there's about eight minutes of episode finished. Uh, nine minutes of episode finished. And uh, so I'm not even halfway done. <laughs> I've got a lot more building to do. You gonna play Valhalla when it comes out? What's, what is that? I don't know what you're talking about. What is what? Tomorrow's episode's uh, from this world. I was gonna say goodnight, but I can, but I can. What's another hour? It's just one, it's just one hour. It's fine, it's one. There's 24 of them in a day, what's one? <laughs> Let's go sleep. What mods are there? Uh, this is vanilla, there's no mods. Uh, face cams on stream and not YouTube because YouTube is uh, not about me. It's about what's happening in the Minecraft world. Whereas this is more about me hanging with all of you. We do much more chill stuff here on streams. And uh, so I figured the face cam works on here. I don't really want to do it on YouTube videos. I feel like it'd be distracting. It wouldn't add anything to the way that I do videos where I feel like it adds something to the way that we do streams here. Because we couldn't have Coda streams without without any um, face cam stuff. <laughs> I mean, oh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't played the last few Assassin's Creed games. I don't own any consoles. And I feel like a console, like Assassin's Creed is very much like a play it on a console type game, or at least with a controller. And the only controller I have is Steam controller. And I don't know how down I'd be with that. When do I stream? Uh, Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays at one, about one o'clock Pacific time. Or Fridays, we're going to earlier streams. This Friday is gonna be a later stream again, though. Uh, I gotta take my girlfriend to the airport in the morning. So stream will be back at regular time this Friday. But then after that, Friday stream should be pretty consistently morning streams. I've re There's a lot of people who have enjoyed the early morning streams, or basically streams that they can actually make. Uh, 
European friendly streams is what I think I'm calling them. <laughs> and so I think I'm gonna keep doing that on Fridays, make them still still earlier in the day so more people can come and hang and who can't catch the normal stream time, I'll do one a little bit different on those days. Uh, and then, yeah, so that, that, that's pretty much how it's going. Would love to see your second take on Alanosis in this world. <laughs> yeah, that would be, that was a fun project. That was a good one. That was, uh, gosh, I remember doing that one way, way back when. Alanosis was like one of the first giant creative projects I ever did, everybody. If you're not familiar with, I did like a giant Greek Mediterranean island network where I built all of the islands and everything from scratch. And the insane part about it was my goal was to, the goal behind the, the video was how much, how big of a thing can I make in 40 hours? Why I did a 40 hour Minecraft build back then when I had like, I think I had like 8,000 subscribers at the time. I was, my mental thought process was like, if I build a bunch in one video, it'll go viral. And it, it did well, it, it's done well, but I still had no idea how I was doing YouTube back then. <laughs> but like looking back, I was like, I literally can't even fathom putting 40 hours into one episode. Like granted, I've gotten close to it a few times just by accident of the project I pick. Yeah, I those uh, there's a few that I leave along the edge just so it's not a very, I, I don't like the consistency of it being literally everything. So I leave a few bit blank patches here and there. Love the early morning streams. I sit and paint with you in the background. Oh, very cool. <laughs> Lord Warhawk, that sucks. <laughs> What do you think about leaves being a climbable block and not solid as it is right now? Sounds awful. That limits your ability to use them inside of builds. I don't, I don't think it'd be very good. Think how much of a pain that would be for people to use them as like bushes on the ground or ways to make areas mob proof. Like that would just suck if <laughs> leaves no longer became a solid block. That'd be really, really painful. It'd be really annoying. What happened to the castle you started on YouTube and finished on Twitch? Oh, that uh, that big how to build a castle thing that I was working on that we did like one stream on. I kind of, um, I was not in a good place uh, mentally at the time to want to do one of those projects. And so I ended up scrapping it. I think I deleted the world by accident eventually too. But I like, I remember starting it and then being like, yeah, I don't want to do this after the first stream. I was like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. Uh, and then I was like, I already put like three hours into this thing. And then I stupidly just kept making it bigger and bigger and bigger. Like that sucks. Uh, and then it, I just not, not the size of a castle I want to build. <laughs> that thing would have taken like seven or eight different episodes of each putting like 10 hours a piece to finish a castle of that size. Just by stupidly how large I had made it to begin with. So to me, that's not worth it right now. If we get to the point where I'm pulling in like Jerocraft episode numbers, like v views per episode, so I can just be like, all right, we're doing a, like I'm gonna spend three weeks building on, for one episode of building and making all this cool stuff, then maybe something of that scale could be possible again. But right now it's uh, not gonna be happening. <laughs> Minecraft can run well in anything. It depends on what's inside of it. Just because it's a laptop doesn't mean it's good or bad. It depends on the parts inside of it. Like a Duke on Red One castle. Honestly, it was about the same size as Crying. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's take our first look. How are these? Looking pretty good. So that's filled in. This one, I did forget a section. Whoever said something, I am sorry for doubting that. There we go. Cool. There's wheat seeds done. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to do these potatoes. 
The potatoes, unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, is uh, we need water buckets. Uh, where do I have some buckets? Right here. Let's do all this. We got to water -ify this entire area. Because the way I like to do the potato fields, just to give you a little bit of a glimpse, is um, like that. So we do these strips. These big old strips of potatoes going across the entire place. I think we're cool. Uh, welcome on in, Raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Let's do this thing. Let's put the strips in first. And then we can fill the water in between them. But first, first, first. First, 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 first. Right there. Water buckets. You should build a monastery. I've already, I've, I did a monastery a few years ago. Like that, one of my first survival builds I ever did was a monastery and I loved it. It was so fun. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna start working these over at an angle like this. And then it'll be uh, all the way throughout here. Do, 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 do. And we do one, two, three, and four. Boop, boop. And then like that. And so there's one strip right there. And then we count over one, two, and three. And we do this again all the way throughout here. And that will even it out to these really cool looking strips throughout the entire area, hopefully. How much space do we have? So that's gonna be that's gonna be a three wide gap in between every one of them. Do we want to do this? Cause that'd be like here. Is that too? Do we think we should go one skinnier? Should we go like to here? Cause then no, that's just kind of like a one. Let's go. Let's do this. All right. Executive decision. <laughs> yes, one skinnier. No, I feel like one skinnier is just going to be like a, it's just going to be like that. I feel like it look weird, but w we will still till all that stuff. Uh, my upload schedule on YouTube is uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Uh, and then if I get a bonus video like I did this week, I'll put those up on Sundays. Like that video that I did yesterday on uh, basically how to keep having fun in Minecraft great video you should check it out if you're ever bored and need some inspiration keep playing minecraft very worthwhile one two three boop, 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 boop. would recommend though i did make it myself so it's kind of hard to not recommend it <laughs> full-on honesty We might have to go find our way to the end because I am, uh, I need to repair my elytra for one and we probably are gonna need to repair the hoe after all this is done. Because <laughs> we need to be able to saturate this entire field otherwise it's gonna look kind of weird. And th that's gonna take a little while. It's all good though. I'm rewatching season one and it's fire. It's fire. Absolutely fire. <laughs> Please tell me we have enough potatoes to do this. I really hope we do. We need more potatoes. We should be good. We still got five plus stacks of them our little mound on the top here <laughs> start watching on youtube and I don't regret it at all hey thanks so much glad you enjoy it think we can do it think we can do it yeah we should be okay we've got one more massive strip left then after that it should be pretty skinny i don't like doing things people tell me to do or ask me to do. I don't know. Uh, I 
Uh, when I found your YouTube channel like two or three years ago, it was life changing. Cool, dude. Cool. <laughs> Why don't you make your fields more like the fields on Westeros Craft? Because I don't want to copy anybody. They got their way of doing it, I got my way of doing it. I don't know. <laughs> What do you mean? The way that they structure them and lay them all out? Because they have a, like an actual agricultural planner who sets up things on their field. I just make things that I think look cool. Just because somebody does one thing one way doesn't mean we got to follow them. But also, because we've already started this project, as we did here, it would feel very, very weird to change up the style on all of it. So... Maybe in a future fields area that we have, I'll change up the style, which I probably will, because I don't like doing the same thing twice. Uh, but for right now, we're doing this one. Dinner was yummy. Welcome on back, Jam. Build a monastery in the mountains. I want to do something similar. Like I thought, I thought like a high Hrothgar type structure would be kind of fun to do, but we'll see when we if we can get to it. this have it does have mending that's good okay oops uh do you consider historical accuracy when building castles sorry if you already answered uh not so much this is a medieval fantasy world, is how I describe it. So I build whatever the heck I want. I will consult real world things to see if it might fit what I'm trying to do. But I would prefer to make what I want to make instead of being limited by the history books or whatever might be physically possible. Um, <laughs> we're playing Minecraft here. Uh, we already don't have to deal with gravity, so... I kind of make things whatever I want to make them. I This world, a lot of people are like, you you should have built it this way. The way you built it is so wrong. In the history, they actually built it like that. And I'm just like, I don't really care. Like, I'm building the way that I want to build things. I like to, I like to make my own stuff. I don't really care too much about the whole historical accuracy behind whatever it is that I'm making. So I kind of just do my own thing and call it good. Okay, so now we get the fun task of we can go one, two, three, four, boop. And then we can do this, and then we can do all of this land needs to be hoed in. There we go, up here, one. Oh, that's not one, two, three, four. And we can do that, and then we can just, again, hoe in all of this stuff. And then we do another one right over here. And we're just going to fill in as much of that stuff so we can get all these things in the middle. Uh, flip new emoji, the gas. Gas has been there for a week or two, yeah. I don't choose what ads are played. No. But I am the one who picks them because I like to do this as my job and I need to get revenue somehow. So I don't control what specifically is played, but yes, thank you for watching ads because it, it means I can do this as a job. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry if it's anything that is jumpy, scary, or anything like that. Uh, please don't yell at me. I do not choose them. One, two, three, four, and we can do like that. All right, so yeah, we should be able to get this whole area tilled and all that good stuff, and by the time we might actually see a little bit of growth on these things, <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, we can just do that. That'd be fine, those can both stay. I know, yes, yes, I know that I could come through here and waterlog all of these sources so they look a little bit cleaner, but I don't really care to. I think it's fine. 
Maybe maybe we come back and add some core dirt slabs on top. That might be better. Let's see. Let's go grab some core dirt slabs. We can put those on top because that'll at least be brown instead of a uh, random thing. Hello, please. Thank you. Uh, so let's get some of these. That'll be fine. And then we gotta refill all of our water buckets. <laughs> Equips grandchildren will finish the mountains. That'll that'll be who I let help me build this Minecraft world. Okay. <laughs> Future little flipper snappers will help build this Minecraft world. Air quality is back to normal up in Seattle right now. I'm very, very thankful for that. It's a lot, lot better up here now. I it was rough there for a while. Yeah, this will be a million times better to do little spots like you and you and that. And then we don't have to deal with all the blue being out here ruining our fields. Look at that. Well, that sucks. Uh, let's do that. And then we can do this. <laughs> Goodbye forever, piece of dirt. And then we can do right there. Nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's still bad in Portland. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. That sucks. There's some tea happening in church. What? What am I missing? Um, am I being yelled at for something? Are mods here at all? What did I miss? Did I miss something? Can we get a ban on Ripper? What is Ripper doing? This is Ripper guy. He was being stupid earlier. Oh, yep. He is being a... All right. Mr. Ripper is, uh, is out of here. You are... Um, there are many places you can go and be that type of an individual. Oh, I just wasted water. See what you made me do? That's all your fault. Uh, but that is not welcome in here. You want to be rude. Go do that somewhere else. There are plenty of crappy places around the internet you can go hide in. You don't have to come and do that here. <gasps> My potato! Sorry about that, folks. Was half half reading chat. Was already um, reading some of his messages, being like, "And this is somebody who I ignore in chat." But I didn't think they were going that far until they uh, apparently thought people didn't deserve rights, which is a uh, totally a not okay opinion to have. That's a that's a very much a not okay opinion. Can we all agree on that? It's uh, <laughs> not okay to say somebody does not deserve rights. That's kind of not a good thing to say. Oh, that's one, two, three, four. Okay, right here. So we do need another one. But mirror. Okay. Second that, yeah. Now you wish for the infinity water pocket for max life? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Would it be nice? Sure, that was helped speed this up by two or three minutes. But the fact that that thing can't pick up water is very frustrating when you misclick. So that's one, two, three, and four. Oh, thank God we don't have to put an extra one up there. Uh, so that's gonna be one, so one, two, three, four. So we do this, that'll be it, that can be one. And like that, perfect. And unfortunately, we need to get right back in here. Let's get rid of you and you. And we can do a water source right there. And we could put dirt back in here, hoe that, put our potato back down, and we are off to the races. Look at that. <laughs> uh, so we need one. Let's just hide one right here. Oops, that's a... Uh... See, this is why we double dirt everybody, so that we can fix those issues. <laughs> Dirt slabs, wait, that's illegal. I know, totally illegal. So that's one, two, three, four. Dirt slabs, totally illegal. Get them out of here, take them away, everybody. Try it, it's so hard to get the water evenly spaced like what, but it never works. Just count four. Four is the magic number. The magic number is four. Remember that, magic number's four. 
What's the magic number, chat? Four. Good job. You did it. Your source blocks need the same level as a farmland? Yes, they do. Uh, they got to be on the same level. So this could water and hydrate all that, but this block right here would not be able to be hydrated. Flowing water can work too. It doesn't have to be a solid water source. So if you have flowing water, like a little thing that runs down a stream or something, like we have right there, every single layer that the water's on can hydrate stuff. 3222, there we go. That's that's the number. 3222, except four, except it's four. Where your resource pack that combines the edge of the blocks? It's done through Optifine in my resource pack. Exclamation text, ex exclamation texture pack. We'll get you a link here in the chatty chat. It's great. I just put the new update up. <gasps> you know what? We're inclusive for everybody except these, okay? Creepers are not allowed. Minecraft creepers and general creepers. Just, if you're a creep, you just don't, just don't. Don't bother coming over here. Okay. They just want hugs? No, lies. Lies, they do lies and slander. Trying to make them sound good over here. They don't just want hugs. They want to ruin everything you hold dear to your heart. That's what creepers do. They just only look out for themselves and they want to ruin everything. One, two, three, four. Creeper pop propaganda? No. You can hug a creeper once, exactly. See, only once, because then they kill you. They murder you. Not friends. Friends would not murder other friends. It's not a thing friends would do. go there that and then we can do like another one right in here we can do it that's almost pirates of the caribbean that's very pirates of the caribbean -y. <laughs> uh we're just gonna leave that as a dirt patch i don't feel like dealing with that <laughs> i don't care if it looks weird i hear you're on the spawn chunks this week i am that is a that is a true statement. The episode should be out later today. We recorded this morning. Uh, there we go. We did it. We did it. Yay. Poggers in the chat. We finished a project. Just kidding. We still have to do it all. It's fine. Look at this though. Look at that. We got three fields done today. They're all gonna grow in very slowly, but they are done nonetheless. Look at that. I like them. I think they look good. Well, we're gonna pause this. And let's go make our way to the end so that we can, in fact, repair our stuff. Because that's something I need to do. I'm going to get rid of this so that we can get these ready for lava. <gasps> no! Yeah. What, it's a petrified oak slab? So it's a block that was added into Minecraft way back in the day. Like, way back in the day. We're talking, like, way back in the day, if you don't know. Like, way back. Like, actually, like, way back in the day. Uh, we're talking, like original minecraft it was the first slab ever added to the game and then they decided to way back in the day if you didn't get it you didn't get it right way back in the day here uh they decided to remove it uh in place of what we currently know as oak slabs but for some reason instead of deleting it they just made a new block and removed the recipe to make the old block so with the data pack you can make it so you can craft 
blocks with different recipes. And there's a way to make it so you can craft this one. I don't know why. I don't know why they made that decision. But it's still in there. It's just been hidden inside the game forever. If you look through the game files, you can find it. And so I gave it a recipe, and I changed the texture of it to look like coarse dirt. And now we got a dirt slab. Yeah, uh, way back in the day. Fizzy milk. If you didn't catch that, way back in the day. Okay. How do you even make rockets? Just put gunpowder and paper in a crafting table. One gunpowder will give you one second of flight. You can max out three gunpowder per one rocket. Hey, Eggs, thanks for hanging out, dude. You have a good one, all right? Have a good one. We got to fly on down here, though. Killed it with Joey's Queen of Hearts Castle. I'm glad you liked it. That was a challenging build. Holy cow. That Usually, I don't, like, go bug my girlfriend too much when i'm like working on a build or something like that usually i'm just like trying to get it done myself but i walked out into the where she's been working in her living room um so many times that day just be like i can't do it i'm frustrated i'm i, I hate this it's not looking good and then <laughs> at the end i was like it looks good <laughs> yeah way back in the day of uh last last weekend that was or last week that was happening hey look the cloud there it is there's my little pillar that's how i find my end portal when i don't go through the nether the panda village does have a road leading back to everything else it had a portal in the nether but i uh kind of i kind of removed it because we're blowing up the nether so right now the only things that have portals in the nether are papyrus and the village and then right down here, we got this. And then right down here, we've got this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yoink. We did pause. That's good. When's the next tour for your patrons here? I don't know. I don't know. I've been thinking about getting on there. I don't know if I'm gonna do a tour video the next time. I kind of want to just get on one day and like surprise everybody and be like, hey, we're going to go wander around the world today. Who's online right now? I'm going to teleport to your base and just check it out. <laughs> Whoever's there, we're going to be there. We ever build over the stronghold? I'm planning to make a giant pit down to the end portal. I'm going to make a giant pit so we can just drop in. And then we'll have to add some water below so it doesn't actually kill us. We need a yoink. Yoink. I mean, yeah, shoelace they do. I mean, they're super supportive about it. I will say most of them were cautious when they're like, "What are you doing? Why are you doing what? You want to do what for a job?" And then um, after I was like, "But I can pay my bills and everything doing just this and everything, so it's fine." So, and then they're all just like, "Oh yeah, yeah, you're good. Like, if you want to play video games, you can pay your bills. Go for it." <laughs> And that's what we do. <laughs> I just really want to see that desert city. I forgot who was building it. You don't. Do they have YouTube? What do you mean? What desert city? Oh, oh, on the server. Uh, Sabo. Sabarus is building that one. Or is that uh, Descalos? I don't know. One of my mods is making that one. I don't think they recorded on YouTube or anything like that. I think they're just building. Well, the elytra's back to being repaired. Yeah, I mean, everybody who, I, who is close family is super supportive of me doing it. Most people are just curious about, like, so you do what and you make money? Like, that's, you do what? And they're, like, super, like, yeah, that's really cool. What does it take to be a mod out of curiosity? Um, people who are hanging out a lot in the chat, um, usually, and so people who I kind of know, I trust to like be following the rules and everything like that and hanging out and that I enjoy being here is a lot of them. Uh, I've been, I think I'm gonna be asking for some more mods. Usually what I do, Sizzy, is I post over in the 
Discord and the Twitch Patreon channels over there, just because I feel like people who are supporting me on, like, as a Twitch sub or a YouTube member care a lot more about the community. Not saying that other people who don't, don't care about the community or anything like that, but just, like, stereotypically, it's easier to do that of people who are more invested in it already, who would be helping to, like, see it continue to be, like, the way it is and, like, function properly. So I'll probably ask over there in the next little bit because I know a lot of people have been uh, in the Twitch streams recently. It's been it's been busy, and there's been a few days where mods haven't been able to make it because you know real life and stuff like that. And for all the mods, I'd never expect anything. It's always if you're if you're around and you're want to hang in the stream. Like I always appreciate when the mods are in here. Just like if they're hanging, they're doing it. Else, but it's never like an expectation to do it. So. Gotta mend the hoe, everybody. We're mending our hoe right now. Look at all those endermen. These endermen will mend the hoe. Never seen an ender farm before. Really? It's like one of the most common experience farms. Uh, you post screenshots on Twitter, like updates. I do a screenshot after every single uh, stream over on Twitter or before streams. I'll do that. A lot of my stuff's on Instagram, uh, flip underscore official, uh, or most, literally everything I do is on my YouTube page. So if you want to see more stuff and you haven't checked it out, YouTube is the spot to go. Got a cool video from this world coming out tomorrow, which will be sweet. And now I can use two minutes, a minute of the video being like, hey, look at all these farms that we built. <laughs> I did more stuff. Look at this. <laughs> Pull a headless nail off of a board. Uh, if you have a really strong magnet, you can try and use that to try and get it up a little bit. And then you can use something to kind of grab it and pull it. You have to get like pliers around it and use the pliers to like pull it out of there. That's that's the only way I can think of. You already know I'm subbed. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Alright, the hoe has been mended, everybody. Our netherite hoe has been mended. I always thought I was the crazy one in putting mending on a hoe, and now it's just a common thing to do, and now I gotta find something else. Which is, uh, uh, we gotta find, uh, we gotta find more stuff to do. New project, rebuild the end, sounds good. You should play Fortnite? No. Nobody, legitimately nobody wants to watch me play Fortnite. I'm saying that a lot of the Ender Pearls are disappearing. Where are they going? They're just despawning. <laughs> oh, uh, underneath that thing, there was a, there was a hopper line that just dispenses them into the void. I don't need them. <laughs> I already have too many Ender Pearls to even find something to do with them all, so I just chuck them into the void because I don't want them. I already never use Ender Pearls for anything. So I just. Haha, <laughs> sucker. I don't know. I don't need Ender Pearls. I have a shulker box full of them that's always like, if I want to build and use Ender Pearls, teleport around, and then I just never bring them. Okay, uh, I need Spruce Reeves. Sprucey Reeves, where can we get Sprucey Reeves? I don't know if I have a box of Sprucey Reeves. Actually, do I use Spruce Leaves? Yeah, Spruce Leaves and Birch Leaves. Yes, Spruce Leaves and Birch Leaves, do we? Yes, okay. Yes, do we? Yes, yes, do we? Yes, yes, do we? Yes. I also need some peonies. I say the word correctly now. Thank you all so very much for yelling at me in the comments a million times. I now say peony. Let's get a few more of these. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. Uh, what's the Discord? Exclamation point Discord, or it's discord.gg slash flip. It will be the link to join. When is Minecon? October 3rd. So not this Saturday, but next Saturday. Did you say peony before? I said peony. I would say peony before, and everybody's like, it's peony! Or, uh, no, peony is correct, right? And peony's wrong? 
I don't know, one of them. Peony. Yeah, I used to say like peony or something like that. Sprucey Reeves. Birchie Reeves? Birchie Reeves? Birchie Reeves? Birchie Reeves! And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, what else did I need? Bone box. O'Neill. All of my random. Ooh, lots of them. What else do I need? I don't know. Was there something else I said I was getting? I think I got it all in my little farming shoulder box. Where can we watch Minecon? Uh, pay attention to the Minecraft Twitter and they'll tell you. They even, it's gonna be on Twitch, YouTube, everything. Now we got Sprucey Reeves. We're good on Sprucey Reeves. I think we just kind of border the field with a bunch of those uh, peonies, whatever we call them. That's right, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, why am I, I no, 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 no. We have put, I'm learning from my mistakes. If I ever make a shulker box mound, the shulker boxes all have to stay together. <laughs> we can't just put them willy nilly all over the place because then it gets all messy. Farm box. Look, more shulker boxes. Messiness, yay. Uh, sugar cane. That sounds good. Sorry, I don't know what I was doing there. Wheat seeds. Let's get let's get some more seeds. What else do we use down here? Flowers. I don't have. Oh, we need rose bushes. I don't really have any of those. That's fine. We will deal. Uh, let's take two stacks of you, three stacks of you, three stacks of you, that'll be fine. Resume. Resume. Have this so at least one of us can earn from the job they enjoy. <laughs> uh, Mario, thank you so very much for the five, dude. I'm sorry to hear there's some unfortunate stuff going on with you right now, but keep on trucking and gotta work. Gotta think about the steps of working towards where you want to get to never an instant leap there so make sure whatever you're doing is helping you work all the way up there all right my friend i'm sure you'll i'm sure you will get there when it's meant to be but thank you so very much for the the five dude i appreciate that it's not messy it's controlled chaos that's what i like to say i am very much the type of person of my office is structured in organized piles there are piles of stuff all over the place that make it look like it's messy. But I can tell you where things are inside of said piles of stuff. The piles are organized for myself. Somebody else might walk in and be like, this thing looks awful. But I'm like, I know exactly where everything is. So it works, right? That's the point. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Do you think Minecraft will ever die? I mean... As all games, there will be a time when it's not the biggest thing in the world. Uh, but I think Minecraft is, it's got such a healthy base to it and it's got such a healthy way of going. I think it's, the only thing I think will truly take Minecraft off of the stage is if something replaces it. Because the way that I view it is Minecraft basically become the replacement for Legos. There's still a lot of people that enjoy Legos and Legos still have their niche and their point to all of it. But I would say the vast majority of people that previously built things all the time with Legos, a lot, like that same type of person, probably nowadays plays Minecraft. I don't think Microsoft will kill it. I don't think that's a fair thing to say Microsoft will kill Minecraft. They have, Minecraft has only grown since they've gotten it. I don't think anybody who says, oh, Microsoft killed it, blah, 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 or they're killing it. I don't, that's, I don't, I don't see that at all. I think Microsoft has actually done a very good job with the game. From just like a standpoint of seeing it as like a 
the game growing from where it was to where it is now, I think Microsoft has done a fantastic job managing it and allowing them to do what they want to do, which is very important in that sense of they bought the game, but Mojang still is the ones who manages everything involving Minecraft, which is good. I honestly have no idea what Minecraft 116 is. I want to see like an overworld biome update. I want to see an inventory update of sorts. Uh, I'd love to see an end update so the end is actually useful. Uh, and there's fun things to go do in the end. I think that would be amazing. Uh, but I'm not really holding my breath for anything right now that I, I'm not so hooked on any of my ideas. I'm like, this has to be the update. I, I honestly have no idea what they're going to do. How do you learn modded? By just starting and playing it. I don't think it's going to be a cave update. I I honestly, I don't want a cave update. I'll be right back, folks. I'm going to go get some more water. BRBs. going went that sorry I gotta check something real fast everybody if you are a, if you're a sub you don't get ads bonus points if you are subscribed you do not get advertisements Does anybody have those friends that they talk to? Like you just have like friends that you talk to all the time where for some reason you always send like all caps messages. Like for me, I don't know what it means. I don't know why, but whenever I'm messaging HBOM, every single message I send to him is in all caps. <laughs> I literally, I could not tell you why what is behind it at all but for some reason every time i message hbom <laughs> it's in all caps <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh it's it's i don't know why <laughs> it's just how it's just how it goes <laughs> i don't know what he did to deserve it or earn it but every single time i message him i'm just like hello how are you <laughs> We'll just add those up here. I don't know what we're gonna do in this spot. Probably a tree or two. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's do 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 do. Uh, we can do like this. Do this and this and that and that and that. And that, and that, that, sure, that looks fine. 
I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. Oh, that is a... I thought that was a shovel. That is, in fact, bone meal. Not quite the same as a shovel. It's fine. Are you shouting from afar? Pretty much, yeah. H-bomb loves to yell. I feel like that's probably part of it. I'm just like, mm, yeah, H. I just uh, feel like I have to yell back at him. Okay. It's fine. Sizzy boy, it's fine. Just pay no attention to it and it's totally okay. Uh, sure, we do that. I meant to put a leaf there, but a flower looks totally fine. Happy little accident. Thank you, Bob Ross. Keep on doing that. And then we can do a little like bam. Ooh, look at that tall fern. Look at a tall fern right there. Look at that. That looks nice. That looks real nice. Okay, we can do that. And then look at another fern. Two more little ferns. Okay. And then we can come over here. And then this. Can we do that? Can we do this? Nope, nope. Too much, too much, too much. Leave them in a corner. Leave three in a corner. And then we can do like two right over here. Perfection. And then we can kind of border these ones out a little bit. You do like a little bit like a bam and a bam. I need to go get a single, one single stone slab. That would be very helpful right now. Look at bed. Yep. How long do you usually stream for? Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna stream another 20 minutes today or so. I gotta get out of here early today because I really, really gotta finish tomorrow's video because I have not really done too much on it yet. And unfortunately, videos take priority over streams. So I'm gonna have to get out of here sooner rather than later and spend some time finishing a video. Just do that, it looks weird. I need to go get one more stone thing. Do you have a flower farm? I do not yet, I desperately need one. I have a flower forest that I've slowly been raiding everything from, and I feel bad for all of the forest pigs that live there. No, I did not mean to do that. Ooh, that's a bummer. Is there any way to craft these things back into full blocks? <laughs> Can I uncut a stone and get a full block of stone out of it? That'd be great. I need string too. Uh, string, nope, string, string, string. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I like to make these have little varying heights to them. So we're gonna do that, and we'll do this, and we'll do like that. And then this one right over here, we can do a boop and a boop. Sweet. And then let's get these. We can get a fern right here, fern, fern, fern. Fern, fern. Do like this. And then... That's fine. And where... I put the hoe away. Why would I put the hoe away? When 117 is all about reverse crafting. There we go. That's that's the type of update we need. Reverse craft things. Thank you, Mojang. The building has really inspired me to play Minecraft again. Cool, dude. Enjoy. No, wrong spot. Yeah. Right there. I do like that. Can we do it? Nope. That's that's there. There we go. We're good. Struggle bussin'. All the way around here, folks. Uh, we're gonna just plant a few little bits of wheat, make it look like some natural plant growing around here. I think it'd be fine. And we can come on in here and just, oh, hello, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Uh, we can do a little guy like that. And then we can do. And I present to you Le Pound. That's my face. Le Pound. Look at that, it's a pond. We did it. Yay, pond. Let me go over here. Sure, why not? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We're gonna have to figure out something to throw in this area. 
some weird, uh, maybe a little house right here, or like a little shed, a w place they can keep some farm supplies in. That might not be bad. Like, I like that. We did a good amount of stuff today. Look at us. Look at us being productive and stuff. Oh, man, we're good at this game. It needs some fishies. You act like I have the ability to get fish anywhere. Just kidding, I probably do, but that sounds like a lot of effort. I'm... I'm the, this is like a total me thing in Minecraft. I'm just like, I don't want to go get this mob to do things. I'll go harvest stone for 15 hours to go build this thing. That sounds like a productive use of time. Getting one mob over here? No, come on, that's too much. Just do a little like that and get rid of these guys. Perfect. Nice. A grain silo? Ooh, a silo could work here. And maybe the tree's kind of the the tree's kind of a tall thing. I want to rebuild this as a custom tree for sure. But the tree's kind of filling up that whole area. So I'm thinking a smaller thing right down below here could work. Let's see, what can we make happen? Did I bring any wood with me? What are the chances I was smart and was like, you know what? I might build something afterwards. We should be ready to build things. Low? Low? I'm guessing low. I'm guessing very, very low. Put all those in there. Put in there. I think I got my emergency wood supplies box on me though. Where's my tree box? Tree box? Tree box. Sweet. Uh, spruce wood. Lots of spruce wood. Actually, let's use some dark oak wood as the back. Then we only need a little spruce wood. And I don't have a crafting table. Crafting table? Of course, I got six in here. That's the way we do it. How do you get the vanilla thing on Minecraft? What vanilla thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Gotta be more descriptive than vanilla thing. Oh, so close. So close to being almost perfect. Almost the 2222. 469 is the number of su subscribers on the old Twitch. What else am I looking for? Cobblestone. So what we're going to do over here, build a nice little, little hangout spot for ourselves. Uh, I'll come back and fill it with stuff later. But let's do one, two, and three. Then we can come over here. We can go one, two, three, four, five. Then we can go one, two, and three. And then we can go with... Something like this. I don't know. We'll make this up as we go. That's what we're doing right now. Woo, yay. I want this to look like it's just like a bunch of stones piled up back here. So we'll be able to have a few spots to kind of like see through it and everything like that. Uh, and then we do like this. Like that. We'll bring it back down one right there. And then this can come all the way across here. Messed that up for sure. And like that. And so this one's going to come out to here. Right like there. And we'll do this and that. And then it kind of is going to hang off the back here. And then everything else out in front of here, we'll just kind of fill in as we can. Hopefully we've got enough slabs. I think we're gonna be just shy, unfortunately. No, maybe. Is that literally perfect? Oh, we got eight extras. Let's go get some coarse dirt. Hey, fam, how you doing? Good to see you. Are you on Hermitcraft or X-Life? When have I ever said I'm on Hermitcraft? I'm on, X I'm, I'm on X-Life right now. <laughs> I've never claimed to be on Hermitcraft. I don't know where you got that notion from. Doing well, doing well. How are you doing? Uh, I have torches. We're good. We can do a boot and a boot. Uh, 
Okay, and then we can fill in the rest of this with some coarse dirt. When will you be looking for mods? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I am still deciding if I want to add some more mods to the old Twitch streams or not. Kind of just playing by ear for the next little bit. Uh, but kind of adds like the everybody gets busy when summer breaks and things like that end. I feel like it's always a good time to add some more. Just in case. There we go. Look at that. We made a little lean-to. Simple. Easy. Works. Just do something like that, and then... There we go. Then we can fill that in with some... Ooh, I might have hay bales. I might have hay bales. Let's see. Let's just open more boxes. You know what? You know what, everybody? I don't think we had enough shulker boxes down here. So let's get another one, okay? Shall we? One more shulker box? Yeah, let's do it. We didn't have enough. Let's add more. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, that's kind of cool. You put those on top of path block without them breaking. Fun. Do that. Sure. That looks like something. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, yeah. I kind of like that being there. Nope. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Maybe we can house the shulker boxes inside of here. Uh, and we can put like a barrel, 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 barrel. Uh, and then we can do like a little table, something or another right over there. And then eh, it looks fine. Eh, I don't know. That's enough. <laughs> I just want to make it look like something's going on in here, you know? Just a little something. There's a little something happening in there. A little something, something. Are you search so shulker so quickly and still see what's inside? Uh, I keep a bulk of certain types of materials in them. So as soon as I see the color, I'm kind of like, oh, I see that. Bill's giant wheat field doesn't have hay blocks. Hey, you know what? You know what? We have hay blocks. It's fine. <laughs> we'll make it happen. <laughs> it's a okay. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop that though. Nope, nope, nope. I need you back. We can do boom, boop. Let's go. Uh, let's do you, then those can all just kind of go in random orders. I have certain shulker boxes that I put in certain spots inside of the ender chest, and outside of that, I could not care less where everything goes. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put you inside the, the decoration box. But like the deco box is always second. The backpack's always first, deco box is always there. Fireworks is always here. Lunch box with his food, which is empty, is always there. And then the gear is always the last one. Outside of that, everything else is random. I think we are set to be able to clean everything up here though, which is pretty sweet. I actually got to AFK a little while to get all these wheat things to grow. But we did it, everybody. Oh, look, they already are kind of growing. Check that out. I really like this. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, you all have no idea how long it has been since I've done something. I, I just, all right, building fields, building fields is one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft. One of my favorite decorative pieces to add into the game is just a nice big old field. It's so like this right here. You have no idea how happy it makes me. We can just walk on down this thing. There's gonna be another field over here somewhere. And we just got this. 
Oh, it's so cool looking. I really like this. Uh, cheesy, thanks for the bets, dude. We've been following your work for a while. Keep up the great work. Hey, uh, Christophin. Christophin, thank you so very much. I appreciate that, dude. And look at that. Look at that. We we'll probably should put our gear back on before we get exploded. Let's put some flowers down. You know, you can you can have a flower right there, and we can put a poppy. Where do we put a poppy? Let's make that some path. I need to put some coarse dirt in there. Uh, coarse dirt is going to be the brown. Do that. Coarse dirt. More space in the inventory cleared up. <laughs> you know, we can throw the gunpowder in the pond. That's fine, right? Totally. Yep, that's where it'll stay for the rest of its days. We have some idea. <laughs> we have a little bit of an idea how much you like fields. Just a little bit. Cool. cool. Yeah. Nailed it. Look at that. We did all that today, folks. I like this. I think that's a good point to end off today's stream, though. I know for everybody who's just jumping in here, it's a little bit on the inside. It's a bit shorter stream today, but I still got like three hours of work to do, and it's almost four o'clock, so I should do that before it gets too late. Uh, yeah. Look at that, though. We did all that. Did we do it? Oh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Let's do a little shaders shot, shall we? Do a little shaders if it doesn't crash our game. But yeah, folks, if you have not already and you're just chilling in here and enjoying the stream, be sure to check if you click the follow button for me. We we'll very much appreciate it. We are flying towards 50k followers, which is insane. But look at that. That's sweet. Something will have to go down here eventually. I still don't know what. But look at this. It's probably framey as all heck. Um, I like that. Here's, here's what we can do. A little bit of like a little. Mm. Yeah, there we go. That's how we do it. Sweet. We did fields today, everybody. Thanks, everybody, so very much for hanging, though. That is where we are going to be leaving this one off for the day. So I really do appreciate y'all hanging out with me uh, and doing all that stuff. All the subs, resubs, bits, and everything. I really do appreciate all the support. As always, folks, wouldn't be able to do this without you all. So thank you very much for that. Let's see who we can share a little bit of live streaming love with and pass a raid off to. Who do we want to raid? I don't know. Who do we want to raid? I think we're, let's go ahead and raid good old Scott. He's playing some Among Us right now. It looks like he's got a good group of people in there and everything like that. Uh, what the heck he's playing with uh, he's playing with a lot of big people <laughs> uh let's go ahead and raid scott he's apparently playing with pokemon quackity carson and philza and fundy and all them so i don't know if it's family friendly but we you know scott's a good dude uh so please join on the raid if you can folks i would very much appreciate it uh flip raid in the chat if you can uh and spam the flip raid emote if you got it all right folks thanks so very much for hanging out here uh enjoyed the stream today very much so thank you everybody who was doing all that cool stuff and everything but that's it for me today folks video will be out tomorrow stream wednesday uh, peace out goodbye listen i also want to point out we're not going to i past. am doing live we're not going to wear masks because I, I don't know how to fuck to do one of the one of the <laughs> <laughs>